Most of the time that you hear that someone had had some kind of awareness under anesthesia or that they were awake under anesthesia is because they weren't actually under general anesthesia. They were under what we like to call MAC or monitor anesthesia care, uh, which is also called twilight sleep. So when someone is actually placed under sedation, uh, small doses of anesthetics are given and they're kept in a semi-asleep sl state where they're, they're breathing on their own, they can be stimulated to, to, to have a response, and they're just kept mildly asleep in order to tolerate a, a particular procedure. And that type of anesthesia is actually very adequate in many many types of surgeries. It's, you're not, it's not necessary for you to have general anesthesia in some instances. And mo most likely, if you ever had a colonoscopy or an endoscopy um, done in your life, you've had it under sedation. So you may or may not remember parts of that procedure. Well, uh, under general anesthesia, you're placed completely asleep and you're actually, a, a, actual a tube is placed in your mouth in order to deliver oxygen and gases, which in turn, a lot of people have told me, oh, I, I, was, I was under general anesthesia and I got up and I spoke. Well, if you have a tube in your mouth, you're really not able to speak. So that right there already indicated to me that they weren't under general anesthesia. They were just, uh, they just believed that they were under general anesthesia. So, our, so my point is that there are different types of anesthesia. And while you're under general anesthesia, you are completely unconscious the whole time while I'm delivering anesthesia gases that are keeping you asleep. So I hope that kind of clears up a little bit the differences about anesthesia. There are different types of anesthesia and every single type has its pros and its cons and what it's used for.